This is what you get when you order a hamburger at Denny's in the United States. When you order a hamburger at Denny's in Japan. Even though it's the same restaurant, you'll get two very different things. Because head over to Japan. Even if they try to do something unhealthy like a westernized version of a food such as the burger, they can't really do it because their preferences just aren't into it. No bread, no fries, just this. This is crazy to me. Japan has the longest life expectancy in the world. The average person in the US will live to age 77, but in Japan, they'll live to age 85. And one of the main reasons for their longevity is diet. This is so crazy and this might help explain why Japanese live so long. Japanese food is very healthy food. People tend to eat more healthier food. Japan has the lowest obesity rate in the world. It's just 4%. Compare that to the US, which has the highest obesity rate in the world, 42%. But it's not just about the food. In the US, the life expectancy has fallen for three years in a row, with the average American male only expected to live until age 73. So he's 74 years old, and that's technically now longer than what the average American male is expected to live. And you look at him and you think he's nowhere near the end of his life. I mean, he's mobile, he's fishing. Old people are everywhere I look. Being active and being social, that's what you see right here behind me. They're working jobs into their 70s or even 80s. In many countries, people wish to be retired. But in Japan, no. Majority of the people, they like to work. Many are biking on the streets. In this society, you don't grow old and go sit in a senior home. Here you have people who are fishing together. Also culture and habit as well. While walking through a town, I even meet this man. Uh, my age, 77. Japanese food, long day. So why do Japanese live the longest in the world? Let's break it down into four main reasons. One of the main reasons people live so long here is diet. Here, there is a huge emphasis on fresh seasonal ingredients, balanced portions, soybeans, and tea. The Japanese diet typically means a high consumption in things like vegetables, seaweeds, fish. Seafood is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and contributes to heart health. All of this plus a low consumption of red meat. These dietary choices have been linked to things like a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke. Another thing I notice is portion sizes here are so much smaller than America. One reason for longevity is the difference of culture of food. Food does matter. Generally speaking, Japanese people eat lower calorie food, eat so much vegetables in every food, in every cuisine. The Japanese diet is low in saturated fats and added sugars, while rich in complex carbs like rice and noodles, which provide sustained energy and promote a feeling of fullness. These carb sources are often consumed alongside small portions of protein like tofu or lean meats. This is often their version of desserts and sweets. Fruits. The Japanese have a tradition of consuming fermented foods like miso and pickled vegetables. These are rich in probiotics and promote a healthy gut microbiome. And remember, a balanced gut has been associated with improved digestion, immune function, and overall well-being. But it isn't just about what they're eating, but also how they're eating too. In Japan, there's a practice called harahachibu. This translates to eat until you are 80% full. It's a cultural concept that promotes mindful eating and helps prevent overeating. And that reduces the risk of obesity-related issues like diabetes, heart disease, and certain types of cancer. Japanese enjoy meals in a social setting, often with family and friends, and that fosters positive mental health and reduces stress levels. This combination of healthy dietary choices, portion control, and mindful eating, along with social and cultural practices, contributes to Japan's crazy high longevity rates. Number two is habits. 68% of Japanese adults engage in regular physical activity. That's way higher than the global average of 31%. Japanese people exercising. Some American people exercise every day, but very limited. Japanese, most of the people have uh, exercising routine, not muscle training by walking. It's active and it's social, two things that are amazing for living a long life. Regular physical activity is deeply ingrained in Japanese culture and plays a huge role in promoting overall health. Japan is a culture that encourages active transportation like walking and cycling. Many people here rely on public transportation and actively walk or cycle to and from 
stations, which naturally increases their daily physical activity levels. Activities like Tai Chi and martial arts are also popular and widely embraced here. Japan also has a strong tradition of engaging in outdoor activities and sports like hiking, gardening, and swimming. The Japanese government also actively promotes a healthy lifestyle by encouraging workplace wellness programs and providing community facilities for exercise. Number three is overall culture. People here love arts and community. Sometimes in Japan, you see elders just spending hours drawing, painting from nature. So they sit in nature, and I've seen it in so many places around Japan where they'll just spend hours just taking it in, drawing, painting. It's really cool. Japan has a strong sense of community and social support networks, and that contributes to overall well being. 84% of Japanese individuals reported having someone they could rely on in times of need, and that demonstrates the importance of social connections. Japan has made significant progress in reducing smoking rates, and that contributes to better health. According to the World Health Organization, smoking among Japanese adults decreased from 36% in 1990 to about 18% in 2019. And then there is the respect for elders. The culture here emphasizes respecting older people, which results in better care for the aging population. It also promotes the responsibility of younger generations to care for their parents, which ultimately leads to improved overall health and well-being in older individuals. There's also a focus on stress reduction. Japanese culture promotes stress reduction practices like mindfulness, meditation, and even communal bathing in hot springs. This is known as onsens. And these activities contribute to relaxation, mental well-being, and more. Number four is actually genetics. There have been a few factors that likely contribute to the longevity of the Japanese population. One of them is a variation in the what's called FOXO3 gene. This has been linked to an increased lifespan and a reduced risk of age-related diseases. Studies have found that the frequency of this gene variant is higher in Japanese individuals compared to other populations. Another genetic factor is the presence of certain SNPs that are associated with longevity-related traits. Basically, they're involved in very various biological processes like DNA repair, immune response, and inflammation regulation. So Japanese people exhibit a higher prevalence of these favorable genetic variants. And researchers have found that Japanese individuals have a lower incidence of certain genetic variations that are linked to age-related conditions like Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disorders. Japan's impressive longevity rate positions it as the country with the highest life expectancy in the world. It's really impressive for me to watch walk around and see how that actually impacts the quality of life here. But on the other side, many people suffer from overworking too. Japan has some of the longest hours in the world, and there is now a lack of interest in having children, which means that Japan's population is going to decline massively. It will go from 125 million people today to just 75 million in 2100. I'm making more videos explaining why this is happening and what it means for the future of this country, so make sure to follow for more.